What's up, everybody? Told you. Yeah, this stuff. is Easy Mold. <laughs> Dude, I haven't done this in so long. I'm so fucking stoked right Dude, now. we're all stoked right now. This Look at our eyes. What are you talking about? I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> this is Easy Mode Ultra, episode oh, 21, I believe. Is, are we on 20? Yeah, we're, we're, we can drink now. Yay. Yeah, yeah, old enough to drink. It's it's to drink. This is this is liquor. You know, this is hardcore liquor. This is really, not really cider. wanted to have these out of shot. Yeah, it's no, we're I not guess out of shot. it's so for those listening, for those who actually like to watch this, I super appreciate it. We all appreciate it. We're doing this at eleven thirty eight p.m. California Pacific time. Today was uh, PSX, PSX, yeah, PlayStation Experience, or the Shade games. Station Experience. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, dude, it was Shade Station. We'll get to that. Yeah, later. It was Shade oh, Station. Man, it was such a fantastic. As movie. always, my name is Billy uh, with Be a Bite, and live in the flesh is the best hair in business. Very tired today. I'm so Barely, fucking tired. I don't even know if he's alive right Furman now. I literally did not sleep last Furman night. Furman Gonzalez no. is very tired. I know tired. people always say, oh, "I didn't sleep last night." No, he I didn't fucking didn't. sleep. I left my friend's house at 5 a.m. and soldier drove me up. Yeah, he picked me up at like, what? What time did we leave? We le- you got here at 7, but we were all awake. Like, I was awake at 6.30. I got three hours of sleep. It's so great. Yeah, dude, yeah. I got like four, then I woke up late, but... Uh, we had sleep to there early for that nice. Kino, but... Yeah. Um, the Kino was great. And yeah. This person here is the best Star Wars actor <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's probably a part of it's over. I mean, it is relevant. You gotta get it out. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, Force Awakens coming yeah, out. Force Awakens coming out. He's, gonna, he's not gonna be in it. This is Hayden Robel, obviously. You fucking know that. Oh. Don't actually, you're right. I don't know that. I know it. I don't believe in you. We're uh, we're going pretty late as always. This is easy mode. You can get it on iTunes, uh, on Android Marketplace, uh, Zune HD as well. Um, (laughs) Be sure to leave. No one is gonna get this on Zune HD. You don't know. Literally, no one has a Zune HD. You are so fucking judgmental. Oh my god. Leave us a comment. I had Zune. I had Zune. Leave us a comment on (laughs) beabyte.com or iTunes and beabyte or or click the like button. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. uh, YouTube.com slash beabyte. You should be there if you're watching this, honestly. Obviously, but uh, right. yeah. But we're not gonna do the dump as usual. If you if you're like one of the forty people that actually like listen to this, that's a decent amount of people to be like, honest. We probably have. I think we have more than that technically. Yeah, like forty two. Really, I mean, after this long I mean, hiatus without us talking to you because we're terrible people, uh, we're up to like yeah. yeah. Squarespace said we're up to like over one fifty, one seventy for for easy mode. But yeah. I don't know if that's how many of you guys are bots. Because if you're bots, how many like, of you are bots and Deep Dolphin? Fuck you, um, <laughs> Deep Dolphin. But, represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, screw you, screw you. Yeah, who else uh, are you? Who else do you need to burn right now? Who else are we gonna burn? I don't know. Not fucking Shade, Ray- uh, not Shade Raymond. Where is She's Steven? Cool. Shade Raymond. Yeah, Steven's always melting. Steven was in fucking know. Oakland today, and he, yeah, he, was, he went to go get fucking ice cream. Did he really? really? Yes, he got ice cream. That's what he was doing with his friend over there. What an Oki. What an Oki. He probably just got vanilla. I like vanilla. Don't I know. I mean, yeah. it's it's, but it's not what you go out to get. Crazy. Yeah, shit. I do actually. Crazy shit happened today. <laughs> PlayStation you experience. Can fucking leave. Remember when I tried chocolate milk two years ago? The first time. Anyway, it's, it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's guys, so we've, had a lot of time. we've had a lot of time. We've had a lot of time been a today. Very fucking been a fucking long, long day. day. I'm not gonna lie, that's so funny. Chocolate milk. <laughs> I haven't tried chocolate. <laughs> I tried chocolate milk when I was uh, 19. That's the first time I tried chocolate milk. It's delicious. It's killing me. That's so funny. I had it for boba. Oh god. <laughs> That's so oh god. So oh, PlayStation experience. Uh, like no. this whole fucking Shade thing. Station experience happened today, uh, December fifth, um, day one. We were there at the keynote super early. We barely made it actually. Well, I barely we, made, we it. made it. No, we were well. fine. Billy we was fine, fucking. Yeah. Late. I was really really late, but god I'm glad hard. we made it. And um, you know, this is gonna be pretty easy, as the name suggests. Like. This is gonna be loose. We're gonna talk about what comes to us, basically. Yeah. At this point, like we're gonna just think about. Should we just hop like, right into it? Fucking. Uh, I want to explain though the reason. Seven? We'll we'll get to that. But I wanted to okay. also explain that the reason why we were gone for all of you guys, like we we had a Thanksgiving break, obviously. We, yeah. We're, we're sorry for not producing the content. Blah blah blah. But yeah, like PSX was fucking crazy. Like that. That was. I did not expect them to open up. Literally, okay. We Furman was falling asleep, and we were joking with Furman when he arrived. Like, oh. You're gonna w- watch when they re- announce Final Fantasy VII. Like they'll show some footage. Yeah, or something like yeah. That. And I'm He's like, gonna okay. be asleep. And we, of course, we were joking because it was not gonna show up. Like yeah. we, th- we thought Final Fantasy VII wasn't gonna show up. But then, if anything, they would show yeah. just another. It's like, oh, here, watch the trailer again. I'm no, like, here's. Oh, I thought they were gonna show the PS1 game because they are. They announced that that is coming out today too. The PS, the yeah. PC version is out. with trophies is out. You can get it. Yeah. You can buy it right now. Apparently, right. so when you're watching, so you definitely buy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought they were just gonna show that, like, oh, remember when we talked about Final Fantasy VII? Right. But no, then they proceeded to fucking blow my mind. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Everyone's minding that. I was. It, I was not in the best mood because no. I was so fucking exhausted. Right. But I was sitting there like this. 
ready yeah. to fight somebody because <laughs> they wouldn't let me watch right. the glorious fucking cloud running down battle. the oh. goddamn How hallway. How did it even open up? Because we haven't watched it since, guys. We were in a, kind of a shitty like aisle seat to the very right. The couldn't see the projector. Dude, we, even, we, we were in the worst spot where like there's a light above us and the, the TV was right above yeah. us, so we couldn't see anywhere. And, like We had a guy so in front funny. of me. Uh, he's a nice gaffer. I don't remember his name. I think his name's like Pri- Prizzles. I don't know. Shout, Shout out, out Prizzles, to Prizzles. Gaff. Prizzle G. Um, no, but what we got to see was a crisp, almost, I would say, honestly, would you say it's better than Avid Children at this point graphically? Like, have we surpassed that level? I think we the have. The cutscenes are pretty much on par. Oh, even would... the gameplay, I would say. You don't think so? I We saw so little. It was. Yeah, we, we saw a decent. Well, no, we, no, no, but I mean, we weren't able to see it up close. Yeah, yeah I um, still think just from a distance, it's like, damn, that but is. Cons- yeah, good. but considering that would be you know just the right. gameplay, that's mm-hmm. they look I'm, fucking good. When you talk about having children, you have to remember that game. That thing is old, over ten years old. It now. is old, yeah. It's yeah, old. yeah, yeah. But anyways, beyond remember that, fucking spirits within, like what fucking shit was that? Was that? that was, that was so, bad. Bad. so bad. As Final, Final yeah, Fantasy. We're so stoked. I was so, st- I was so stoked fucking when it came out. Astronauts. Like, fucking Final oh, so was Square and or Square Soft before they died and became Square Enix. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. I was yeah. explaining that to Suki the other day, like how that even happened. First, so that's crazy. You're really it's good weird. with the Suki thing. The Suki. You never, no, I you never, never you never no, slipped. No, this guy's never, good. Not even once. Someone, someone might go go try to find it. You probably 20, find it easily. <laughs> Twenty years from now, someone will like figure it out. Yeah, maybe. They gave us these cool lanyards. Um, we're getting completely off topic. We'll get back to Final Fantasy. No, I want, that's, a good, that's a good thing. We got some cool lanyards, dude. It was, I don't have my stuff. PlayStation's Amiibo. Oh, you have this here. I have the entire thing, so I'm gonna we're going to give this away. Like This is the goodie bag like that, that you get from uh, PlayStation Experience. Yeah, you. but um, you're getting see. you're getting Billy's stuff. We're not giving our shit yeah, away. Yeah, Billy doesn't own an PS4, by the way. This entire conference was, he was like He was actually barred from being there. Just like <laughs> Yeah, in fact, they were like telling him, like, dude, why are you being so... They held me and Phil Spencer in a containment room. Um, <laughs> Well, there were two people that weren't allowed to show up. Right. It was Billy Kojima. and Kojima. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, we need to get to that later. Right? So, yeah. So, we have so much to talk. But about. yeah, we're gonna give away the goodie bag. Yeah. Uh, just uh, should we go through? Yeah, let's go through some stuff. Well, if you want it, just like this page or sub or do. We, I, hey, we need to show off the goods so they get more. Yeah, sub, yeah. Yeah. sub or like or leave a mm-hmm. comment, whatever. But this is a. Um, Let's see. What this, this is, is. A, it's a poster. I think this, is the, this is the PSX poster that has like Master Chief. No, Master. Chief. That's Master Chief. Master Chief. Yeah, that would be really <laughs> weird. Really one, actually. The biggest troll. I don't know. I don't know yeah. too much about video games, but I'm pretty sure yeah. Master Chief. No, we were all joking, guys. Like, would you guys oh, be you willing to watch this? I did open. Crack this seal, fucking hard. Um, we were joking. If imagine if we dressed up as like Master Chief, for example, and yeah. we, like went to the conference. Uh, it wouldn't be the most hilarity would ensue. Yeah. So this is like their major logo with like all the fall game releases. Yeah. So it's Destiny, mm-hmm. Uncharted, Street Fighter Five, Battlefront. Get that. You just fold that right there. Um, all the all now you have game now you have Hayden's DNA for whoever wants uh, this shit. You can make clone. <laughs> what? <laughs> put so. your put your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> tongue back in. They also uh, they also gave us this cool like program guide. We might want to need that. We might need that for a bit. I'm I'm going to try to get this signed as much as possible tomorrow oh, yeah. morning. Oh yeah, you said that today and you didn't do it. I didn't do it because we were like <laughs> really tired. This poster team's cool, by the way, for you uh, poster team collectors. I do I do want to get there's autograph page. Hopefully by the end by by the time I leave, I will have a lot. Of and signs. Jessica Jones, which is because there's amazing. plenty of uh, celebrities. There is a lot. I want to get. I want to find. We did, we're jumping back and forth, but should we just focus on Final Fantasy VII? We'll after just this? focus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I got this sweet Firewatch. Um, this is not part of the goodie bag. It's just something you get for being there. It's a Firewatch postcard. Yeah, and you oh, guys really? weren't there, so yeah. you're not getting it. Did you not get this from the booth? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Firewatch oh. looks good, by the way, everyone. So oh, you there's like more stuff in here. Than His I shirt saw. is Firewatch. Oh, oh yeah. Right. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. Can't really stand up, stand up. There, there you go. Put the fire there you go. Mm. There of course you pick yellow. You know, I was criticizing it. What does that mean? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not an Asian thing. You Asian, I picked. Racist. No, you just look like you love dirty. Shade cast, 2014. <laughs> that's, this is cool. So I'm gonna open this up. The is. This Cap- is the Capcom Cup because that's also being partnered. Obviously, Street Fighter Five. It's tomorrow, by the time you're watching this, it's probably over. It, go watch it. I mean, you're not gonna be watching can, this, obviously, can, but yeah, it's so cool because it has every <laughs> single player, like all the oh, little top really? league players, oh, are competing cool. for a $250,000 prize, guys. A billion dollars? Yeah, a billion. No, 250,000. That's crazy, though. Look at what's on this. Is it cool? I don't know. Oh fuck! This is awesome. I that is pretty yet. cool. Yeah. As a huge Street Fighter fan, that's oh, there's no Ken. You sick? Are you kidding me? Okay, you banana, got banana, banana hair. Kong might might have fucked up a little bit. Banana but, uh, hair Ken. You. Um, no, no banana hair Ken. Banana hair Ken. May have fucked up. Do you remember Mega Man? Oh what? There's like more Still things bitter. here. They <laughs> Mega Man Legacy at the convention. Oh, what? I know. What? Okay, oh, what's, what? what's next? Oh, you're not getting this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, show it to them. This, a, is, this is so they're a cool PlayStation Experience trading cards. Right. 
Um, Which, by the way, this is so well thought no, out. They went no. out of their way to fucking make these incredible because look how detailed they are like they come with a little container that this you is, build yeah i grew up um, i grew up playing ratchet and clank so this so you'll give I'm, these away though uh the firewatch one <laughs> he doesn't want to give the cards away i like sorry. the firewatch one. Oh, there's a fire oh that's nice that's what the one Keep i got that. sorry this is like this i don't think i'm going to give away the cards you, well, you know what <laughs> that, that, they, didn't, they didn't come in the goodie bag so this, yeah these didn't they come with the good not yet, yeah i'm right. giving you the firewatch uh postcard, postcard so, right to your lover um but there it is that's, they gave that, me this thing. To too. This is a foldable card case mm -hmm. made out of cardboard. That was um, folded. That was that was fold folded. Uh, you're not getting that. So. <laughs> but so thanks for going to detail explaining what it is then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What there's cool things that we were missing here. This is your favorite right here. Oh yeah yeah. It's as, a beanie. as a fan of beanies, this is actually nice. So they gave you all of this. I mean, we got these. What was it? Sixty five dollar pack. How much it was, was our tickets? Sixty bucks for early bird 60, two day. We got early bird two day, and we got all this. Like, I feel like this is what we were paying for. We were saying that earlier, right? We we're paying that for sure. Yeah. So what's happening? I heard someone open the door. Should oh. we cut? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, what? Oh. Yeah. I think there's here. Oh okay. yeah. What? What else do we get? Hand Are sanitizer. You? Oh, yeah. Hand sanitizer. Get your hand sanitizer. Honestly, I didn't know it was spray at first. I was, like, afraid I was going to spray it in my eyes. Because, like, yeah. I was messing. I was like, it said open on the top. Yeah. So, basically, this is Hayden Proof. This is right. Like, oh. Hayden Proof. Yeah, this is Hayden Proof. This is ha PlayStation hand sanitizer. It's spray. I'm going to wear this. Demonstrating now. I'm wearing your guys'. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why. I missed. Why is it a spray? I missed my entire hand. You missed? Yeah, I, I missed. I become a PlayStation oh, I show. I can't. Because it's uh, <laughs> spray. <laughs> Who brought you put it on? Now, yeah. you can so now you get more Hayden DNA. More Hayden, Hayden DNA. No, I'll probably just give you mine, to be honest, but no. Did Maybe we talk about this? What the hell is this? Oh, oh it's, it's a, a C. Like, Lost C, is that what it is? Oh, I'm going to talk to these guys on Twitter. They, they're following me. No, it's East um, Asia Soft. They're actually pretty good developers. They're so all right. They make mobile or some shit. <laughs> um, cool. This is the big one. Li quite literally. Not really. I'm, this well, this is cooler than that, I think. I like to be in the but I mean, the shirt is cool. This t-shirt is pretty sweet. I don't know what it says on the front, guys. It's PlayStation uh, Experience 2015. And then you can say that you were there. Oh, that's where it was. You can fucking lie. Yeah, you can fucking lie. You can be like, hey, bitch, I, I totally was there. there. So you get you get all that stuff. If just uh, Copyright boom. Just like Shit. and subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, that'd be sweet. Um, yeah. so YouTube.com slash be a bite or... I don't know. Twitter.com slash be a bite. Facebook.com slash be a bite. Hit me up. You know what's really cool is this bag itself is the icon on the PlayStation Store. I thought that was just... They, like I said, like they yeah. went all out, right? They went all out with this. I've never seen a con. So I've, never, cool. I've been to a lot of cons. I've never seen this much Yeah, and it's a decent bag, for... so you can pretend to care about the environment when you go shopping. Right, if you're going to get... Uh, if you're into Street Fighter 4, we talked about this, right? Street Fighter right? 5, yeah. That's for Street Fighter 5. <laughs> no, you shit. No, Street no, Fighter 4. 5. If there's, Arcade edition. There's, uh, this is for a Avatar... On your PS4. That took you, that took right you now, so guys. long to say. No, I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna pause that and like, they'll be no, like, oh, it's blurry. The camera if doesn't it's not really incite you that much. If you want it, if you, uh, if you want this no, to see the super, super duper burger. You also get a <laughs> rubber band. Oh, yeah. God, don't oh, man. Do Jesus Christ. <laughs> you gonna see in the footage, I was very scared. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we got some really cool merch and yeah, the, the it was the smoothest convention I've been to of that scale as well. There was 5,000 people. And in or five fifty five hundred inside the actual uh, Moscone West Center, which is here in SF. Mm -hmm. um, they're staying the night, by the way. We we have many things in store, but no. Uh, <laughs> the 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 wait that we had from the line. What was it like? It was it went fast, even though it was like a line that probably was probably took fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes, but how many people were there? Like there, yeah, roughly. no, there were a lot. Are a we lot talking about the I don't, dude, Did you wait in that massive line before? Yeah, it, it, how, it, was, how it many took would you like say? fifteen minutes, probably. No, but how many people would you say? Oh, there's a lot of people. I was like, I, I would say almost like 500 in that line. And the, in, in the yeah, line itself? I know the yeah. max is like 5,000. It was 5,500, yeah. Yeah, so. The venue. It was cool. Like, uh, again, the biggest thing, the biggest draws, I think, for a lot of people from the keynote was that Final Fantasy VII um, demo well, trailer. Like, we didn't know that, though. We had no idea. That's the craziest part. They opened it up. What did they open it up with again? They opened, they opened up Uncharted. Uncharted. Uncharted, which was uh -huh. awesome. In the... We'll just go right into it. Uncharted, just go, yeah. basically, they it's just like yeah, I'll, I'll have it up right now. But like, it's Nathan taking stamping shit, and then yeah, the biggest thing from that really was the dialogue choices. Yeah, there was a little is, bit of a dialogue yeah, tree. You which, guys will see it in the trailer, I'm sure, or in the what footage. Did, what did you guys say? I mean, we never had a chance to like talk about it. Really, like, what do you oh, think? We did a that? little bit, but it, I it's think, gonna be pretty light. You think? I think it'll be light, and not only, don't expect Bioware level yeah. like stuff. Yeah, but Bethesda, like you know. But I think we could expect some type of alternate endings, like or something you think in store. So? Yeah, what's I just last. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think so. What do you think this will like? What's I, the point? I think, that I think it's just going to be like, a little superficial. 
I, I guess just, just for that's fun. Dog doing that though, you know. Like, I, I you know, I don't either. Stuff. But because the other games didn't have that, yeah. it'd be really weird to throw this new mechanic in. But wouldn't they, isn't it weird that they would do that just to throw it in? It is weird because if you look like, at the honestly. trailer, like it was, it, like you said, like yeah. the choices were superficial. It was yeah. just it's yeah. not like major decision. I think it's just an example. That, like we were theorizing, me and Luke, who's uh, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> No, he's, not, he's not dead. <laughs> should have, should have same place Steven is. It was a really long his girlfriend same, same thing. Don't tell Suki. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. She's not gonna watch this. Um, watch everyone. She watches. She's like now. she's like one of the people that watches. She like comes episode. in right now live and murders me on the spot. You guys would like that. And everybody you don't knows. Get this but we save ourselves because we'll give her hot wings. Yes, we have a lot of hot wings. Cold. From Papa John's, this guy guys. fucking got twenty four. Twenty four hot wings. Because I was expecting another human. To be here to eat that. What was a hot piece of wing? No, it was a giant's brother. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> that was not a transition. I but think I think Hayden was having a heart attack. I'm, 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 I'm having a stroke. It's like yeah. she slurred. <laughs> Sorry, no. But, uh, that that uh, we saw a little bit of the VGA. It's really weird. We'll talk. We'll talk <laughs> a little say, bit that about. Was really weird. We'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about the VGAs um, too. I'm guessing eventually we'll just touch on the that. Veggies. Like, the veggies. The um, veggies. Posted by Jeff uh, Keeley. Kojima, come back. Uh, 2015. Oh man, the Shade Awards. No, but we'll get to that. Uh, so they showed off uh, that they showed off this new character, Nadine, right? Who's being played by Laura Bailey. Yeah. Before they finally mm-hmm. revealed who she was, Laura That's Bailey. So cool, dude. And it, remember that controversy? We went to the panel afterwards. It was like uncharted performance capture, blah blah blah. Yeah. It was that controversy idea, of like, oh, she's a black character being played by a white person, but. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even tell it was Laura Bailey, the accent and yeah. the performance was fucking. And then when they yeah, showed yeah, yeah. beyond anything I've seen from her, I, just, I assumed yeah. it was her when I saw her, but I was yeah, like, yeah, of course. She she sounds really good, and I mean, Laura right. Bailey has been really great mm-hmm. in a few other things I've seen her. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I remember yeah. her back in anime. But th- it was a really good right. performance, yeah. and, that, and that's what um, when when Neil Druckmann started talking about right. about that controversy mm-hmm. and all the stages they went through until they finally said, you know, this. Is Nadine? We can't have it any yeah. other way, and that's and, how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's definitely different when you're doing a movie as opposed to right. video game because, as you said, you know, you can't let these um, these matters interfere with something that you can't even see. It's not like the uh, Scarlett Johansson Ghost in the Shell controversy where she's playing an Asian character. Granted, Ghost in the Shell ball, like, can get into politics of, like, oh, their body capsules. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, in, in the video game, you have a liberty of, like, oh, look at this medium where you don't have to be bounded by your physicality. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. if you were to do that, it'd be terrible. Like, I know for um, an Assassin's Creed, for Connor Kenway, is that his name? Kenway, I think it is. Yeah. Wait, the, yeah, yeah. the, the, the third character or the father? The Native American one. Yeah. Yeah. Connor. Connor. Yeah. yeah. Connor. Um, he yeah. was played by a Native American guy, and I know a lot of people oh, were yeah. really stoked with his performance. Yeah, because he wasn't an actor. Just, While well, maybe he was. in, what was it, the handheld one, Liberation? Liberation? Yeah, Liberation. Liberation. Yep. Liberation. Uh, black character played, played by White. Yeah. Abilene. White. Yeah. Abilene. She's, she's one of the coolest characters. And though. she was Daniel. fortunate. Like, she's not in really good. Else, you know? Right. We have some guests here, so expect some type of interruption. <laughs> but, but no. It's all good. Yeah. Hello? I don't know. Oh, it's Adam. Hey, what's up? We're recording a podcast. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I don't know. If <laughs> welcome to YouTube. Yeah, welcome um, to YouTube. No. <clears throat> uh, what, were we, what the fuck are we talking about? About Laura Bailey and we're... Yeah. Uh, 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 Aveline do Aveline Aveline cultural Aveline. things. I've been Aveline. watching a lot of American Horror Story. Uh, I have that accent stuck in my head now. If you guys have seen American Horror Story, you don't watch that, do you? No. no. Lady Gaga's in it. I didn't watch that season yet. No. I'm, on, I'm on that season like right now. Yeah, you're wrong. Season. You're and wrong. Totally you're wrong. wrong. But no, it's like Mary Love. I don't know. Yeah, but what? <laughs> but what, <laughs> were you, really what was the point you were trying to make? I don't even know what I was talking about. Laura Bailey is a really great actress. She's, a good actress. She's playing a black character. She is not black in. Neil Druckmann, the creative director of Uncharted 4, says, who gives a shit? Because it's video games, basically. That's the, hey, that's the best example. I mean, the yeah. thing is, you can't you can't be bounded by that, because mm-hmm. then you're going to basically be like, oh, all older characters have to be played by an older character. All like child characters have to be played by right. a child character. When, in truth, if you've known anything about voice acting, like child characters are almost always played by like females. Yeah. Because yeah. they're not the voice. Enough. Yeah, exactly. Then you have a Hayden Christensen kind of scenario, although Hayden Christensen was the kid. In Sins Tower, he's a man. <laughs> he's a man. He's a man that can cut it fucking peaches with the force. Yeah. <laughs> is that awesome. what he did? I mean, it was oh, awesome. Oh man, those movies were terrible. It was guys. episode two where like oh. they're having like, a date where he was supposed to guard Padme and and Padme is eating food and he he like force pushes a he, uh, he force pushes that oh man. pushes a peach. A joke. He takes a peach <laughs> and then like cuts it with the force and like serves it to her on a plate. 
I remember that like very vividly for some reason. I don't know why. You know, I'm I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm not a Jedi, but I'm pretty sure there is abuse in the Force. That's probably fucking. You think so? Like you need <laughs> yeah, to I, woo women or or woo yeah, people, people. I mean, just like to have any, for like, a relationship or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not supposed to, you're <laughs> supposed to be like sterile, basically. That word. Um, yeah, we talk about Final Fantasy VII. Uh, the voice sp- speaking speaking of voice acting. Like you said, it was the same Advent it, it, Children. It's Advent voice. Children actors, as far as I could tell, instantly from immediate reactions. I knew that was I, I recognize that voice from Crisis Core. If it's not Advent Children, then it's Crisis Core. But I'm pretty sure they maintain that. Yeah. So it's always I think it's even the same actor for Cloud at least. It was Since good. I liked it. I never. I, I, would, yeah, I was okay years, with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I was totally okay. Having with it. never it's weird after heard that 15. before. You know, like so. it sounded cool. Yeah, there's that one guy in Final Fantasy 15 that just no one likes. Oh, God. It's like the it's more than yeah. Kiefer Sutherland. Let's put that in perspective. His oh, gruff man. voice is more than Saul's name. It's like Kiefer Sutherland character. and Batman had sex. Wait, was Kiefer Sutherland and Batman <laughs> once? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh, Keaton. Uh, Keaton. Yeah, Michael Keaton. 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 Michael Keaton. Sutherland looked kind of the same. Right? Or the other guy, Val Kilmer. I Val Kilmer. Think you know, no, Val yeah. Kilmer just like. That. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Val Kilmer. Number say. one star. Nah. Deep nah. Dolphin. I know his nephew. Really? Fuck, we shouldn't talk. I'm sorry, sure. Batman. Sorry. We're not friends. Oh, we just said I know him. VJ announcement. We're gonna jump back. Veggies. And that VJ. Is that veggie announcement of the Telltale you mean the Batman shade, game? The Shade Awards, Holy hosted crap. by Jeff Keeley and Shade Raymond. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I wish it was hosted by Shade Raymond. Yeah. After that, yeah. I don't know why they called her that? But, yeah. She wasn't even. She was throwing some shade, I guess. Yeah. But. So what we're talking about is basically yeah, when go ahead. when Jade Raymond of uh, of former Ubisoft fame who like created Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She now works for EA making Star Wars games, I believe, with Amy Hennig. Apparently she's making some Assassin's Creed type game for EA. Yeah, third person action that. game, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But she, she went to the Game Awards and basically presented the Best Performance Award, which oh, included like you know, Camilla Lennington for her performance as Laura Croft, Viva Seifert for her story, like uh, Mark Hamill for the Joker in Arkham Knight. Right. Um, so she's up there, she kind of like... I thought she was kind of... like We were talking about this before. Like, as soon as she got on stage, her eyes were like... Hi guys. She seemed like intoxicated right now, a little bit. She yeah. had a lot of fun yeah. backstage. She, she like had to set down the 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 statue. She was she like, "Oh, this is heavy." I was like, "What is wrong with her? What is <laughs> she on?" She like, set it. Weird. She sat down and yeah. she's like looking at this. She said she she reveals all the nominees. She's like, mm-hmm. "Viva Seifert for The Witcher Three. But before she says that, before she goofs, she says something like, "Oh, the best performances, you know, are tied to their." They're actors or whatever. Yeah. It's like every time you think of Solid Snake, you think of pause. It's great if they look cool and even better if they have a unique silhouette. But to really make a character come to life, you need to find the actor that captures the voice of the character. Like who could imagine Metal Gear without the voice of David Hayter? Sorry, that was a bit mean. Um, An awkward David oh. Hayter. No, but she said it. It wasn't even that. The delivery was like, the, and the best actors are, fr- are tied to their performances. And like, it was like it was like so awkward. it was like so pregnant. Like, really like honestly, it was ridiculous. This is good. The best Star Wars actor. Honestly, on really our not. set right now, dude. I'm in Awakens. I'm sorry, spoilers. Um, no, but you're Kylo Ren. Fuck, dude. Dude, dude I didn't that know that. God damn it. Dude. I did not. He didn't see the image yet online. Um, but no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jade Raymond, go ahead. Yeah, but no. But like, she, it was. It was a like she should have won best performance for that night because she she like improved, she entertained they me. give her a mini one and she's so awkward here you go so she, when she said yeah David Hayter and then she's like oh that was mean can you go back again and just do the whole bit just like the best performance he, oh, actor a magician can't repeat his tricks. okay, okay so well you're an actor not a magician so get, <laughs> get fucking That's do weird. it <laughs> I'm both I've really, done theater everything's really funny right now yeah, everything. Really I fun. mean, that may be the Whiters. I don't know. I've never had this before, but like, I'm actually, I'm, I'm probably the most. But yeah, I, I've been calling her Shade Raymond. Yep. Like, it's a Twitter thing. I didn't make it up. I don't think I made it up. Basically, Kiefer got. <laughs> Kiefer was there, too. That's the Kiefer weird was part. there, and he got. He was right up there before, wasn't he? Yeah, like, that's what, fucked like up. The, and, and Jade just basically goes, and you think of Solid Snake, you think of. David we, Hater. David Hater. And like people were like, oh. Ooh, yeah. Close up of Kiefer. Did they I, do a close up of Kiefer? I think so. He's like I didn't smiling. See that. I think it was like smiling. Oh, that's nice. At least he's a good sport. He's I'm, like, I'm going to fucking ban I think that he, company, like basically. Just one one rant real quick. Like yeah. Kiefer Sutherland gets a lot of shit from Metal Gear. Mm-hmm. But deservedly. I didn't get, but it's not his fault, I think. And yeah. I think he genuinely likes being in video games. No, and like, yeah, yeah. Like he really appreciates the fans, you know? 
Um, and and that's really cool. And he doesn't get enough. His performance credit was, for it that. was uh, it was it was just me. It was to me it wasn't even mediocre. It was like a little bit above mediocre. Like yeah. it wasn't it was. It was serviceable, and that's it. Like he had little lines, and I was gonna say that there wasn't in. much to the, the script. Tapes, and the he tapes. talked. He talked more. There's a quote from uh, at Warrior Twitter. 64. Yeah, uh, he is. He's a very famous Neo Gaffer and stuff like that. Uh, another cheap ass gamer fame. He said like, "Oh, he had more award, uh, words last night while accepting the award than he did in the entirety of MGS5." <laughs> like what the hell? No, but it, a lot of it's like behind tapes and shit. Yes, yeah. Which is I don't know why they did so that. So waiting for that chapter three that apparently got cut by Kojima. Konami, did you hear about that? That was Shade. Yeah. Shade Raymond was number one. Shade two was Konami throwing shade at Kojima yeah. at the, the Game Awards. Yeah. Which like Konami makes it in every episode. Here he is. Here is it a he? Are we gonna are we gonna personify it, as a it, he? It, Konami, it was, it, it was no, they, it's they, they, they. It is 2015. Gender neutral. Okay. They, right. they, they, they. We're fucking hip. We're fucking terrible heads. people. Sorry. No, <laughs> I it was almost surreal because when Jeff Keighley was, was like, messed up. What was like, you know, let's give this award. I don't. They but they won best uh, third per, best action game. Yeah, and, and Kojima mm-hmm. couldn't couldn't be there to get it, so Kiefer went up and, and stepped it for them. Yeah. Um, and then Keeley says like Kojima wanted to be here, but Konami under Konami's contract, uh, no competition. Like you, yeah, non workmanship. He, work he show could not yeah. show up and accept the award. As you noticed, uh, Hideo Kojima is not here with us uh, tonight, and I want to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Mr. Kojima had every intention of uh, being with us tonight, uh, but unfortunately he was uh, informed by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that uh, he would uh, not be allowed to uh, travel to uh, tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept um, any awards. It's, uh, he's still on an employment contract and it's, uh, it's disappointing and it's, it's inconceivable to me that a, an artist like Hideo would not be allowed to come here and celebrate with his peers and uh, his fellow uh, teammates uh, such an incredible game as Metal Gear Solid V. But that's the situation we're in. Uh, Hideo uh, is in Tokyo right now watching the show. Um, so we want, want you to know, Hideo, that we're thinking of you. And... Um, we miss you. We hope to see you at the Game Awards 2016. Essentially. And that's like really strange, right? Doesn't yeah. it expire? I, as far as I remember, it's, I hear it's December, like December 10th, I think. I didn't, I never like heard, literally five days from now. I never heard expires, an actual yeah. date. I just heard rumblings that it's December. It's this month. Yeah. And the no, non-compete clause ends between yeah. Konami and Kojima. So. Yeah. But that was probably one of the worst and best situation I've ever seen because everyone booed more than I've ever seen like in a public awards show. Yeah. Or public, I guess. Keely fucking... Like, Keely would like just threw the shade and like he was completely fine about it. I mean, they deserve it. Honestly, Konami, like... Mm-hmm. I've said in our one episode it was like our top favorite games of all time mm-hmm. if you remember I love classic Konami I love your IPs I still do and I want to see what you could can do you with stop Castlevania. copywriting us please yeah can you stop <laughs> I tried I did a Castlevania stream I never I'm sorry I haven't finished Castlevania 3 I will get to it uh, <laughs> it's a little late for Halloween but um yeah what has Konami become like that's I weird love Konami has like become some corporate monster which you could argue they've been for a while but yeah, I don't know. They, they, don't, they don't care. I think they don't even care. That's the thing. This whole year is fucking crazy it's, for Konami. Dude. Yeah, this has been it's the insane. year of Konami. I honestly think so. I'd call it. Yeah, year of like bad Konami. Every ep- and it's funny because our uh, easy mode kicked up with that. Like it yeah. was born with Konami. Yeah, here. it's a weird thing. Life is hard. It's strange too. <laughs> this did is that not anything. This is did life is strange. Did, did that win? win? Life is strange won um, the game for change, which went up against Sybil and uh, Undertale and her story. I mm-hmm. believe. I really wanted. Uh, um, Ashley Birch to win but best performance. performance cause I just thought who, who's she playing again she, she was Chloe Chloe, Chloe. Oh, and Chloe. I think oh, yeah. I think she did fucking phenomenal she was great dude like, she Chloe was so I don't play it yet I, I really wanna play it she's really good like honestly all of those all those performers were really good. Like, video game performance capture is, like, so good now. But were they deliberately awkward? But, like, because I heard complaints about that, but it was in a good way, right? Like, they were it's very con- emulating the way people talk. It's contemporary of. writing. Yeah. And they, they say, like, hella. Yeah. And yeah. She even go. Max says something like, damn, it's hella cold. Let's get out of here. And she goes something like, I hate that word. Hella. I hate that word. <laughs> I say so, that. Yeah, it's just good. funny. It's just funny. Well, people say that around here. The know, way they, area. like, yeah. I, I figured that game was, like, around, like, based in Oregon or something like that. It looks like a fucking organ place. Yeah. Probably around Bend or something. Fuck organ. Um, <laughs> fucking guys. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Yeah. But that's so that was really interesting. But um, just overall, the game awards are really oh, cool. Um, number one thing, uh, Bloodborne got robbed, and that's the end of this conversation. Oh man. Fucking Bloodborne. Bloodborne should've, best. Fucking should have won for every category. <laughs> nominated. They hate him. No. I agree. Oh, thank God. Best art direction. I agree. Best art direction, uh, then uh, game of the year, and then uh, 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 RPG. RPG. Yeah. 
What was the action? It was the RPG. I'm pretty sure it was RPG. No, it was RPG. RPG. Sure. Which doesn't make sense. I think that was the category it didn't even deserve to be in. You think so? It got snubbed out of all of those. But what do you think it, it could have won? Like, I think for game of the year, the realistic honestly, thing? I'll be realistic and say that I don't. It's my game of the year. Yeah, I'll mm-hmm. undoubtedly say that. I don't think it should be game of the year. Um, I think Fallout Four should have been game of the year. Mm. Just for the brief, I've already spent like thirty hours. I think it's already mm. game of the year. Um, I'm I'm pretty much I'm I'm okay with yeah. The Witcher. I yeah. haven't. I've, I'm, I'm, let's get this straight. I'm okay with it. I just yeah. haven't played it, so I have no stake yeah. in it. And okay, I yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean yeah. I've, I've played. An okay amount of The Witcher, right. and I played a good amount of Fallout wow, 4. Yeah. And, and Metal Gear was in Game of the Year nomination here's, as well. Here's the thing. It, Dragon Age Inquisition won the first VGAs, with the the non-Spike VGAs. And mm-hmm. um, I think it's because the, the, the judges are composed of elites, uh, not from publications, media, right? publications and, media. and like people that are journalists, essentially. Yeah. And uh, it's really weird because they actually chose some really bizarre choices. Like, what they chose um, Splatoon for best shooter, for example. That was That's fucking that crazy. Was, we'll get to that. That was weird. That was weird. You don't yeah. want to talk about that right now? I don't. I want to get okay. to this. Okay. I want to. I want to get to my okay. argument for why Bloodborne should have won first okay. off, first and foremost. I think it's just because people, they're they're people that didn't play it, which some of the press didn't play it. Um, they don't like the idea of a hard game, like, just not, not a hard game, but, like, this game that is dedicated to the challenge and difficulty. They didn't try it, they didn't play it, maybe. Mm-hmm. But more so than that, there's an obsession with open world games, if you haven't noticed. This trend is, like, isn't, everything oh, yeah. is open isn't world Isn't Bloodborne games. sort of... It's segmented. It is open world, I'd argue, but it's, it's like not... It's like a two mainer kind of segment. It's not in the way that, like, Witcher, where you're finding some dense, like, You just, like, go. No, 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 not, yeah. not like... There's a all, sequence. Whenever they get yeah. a new open world game, one thing I always see them do is they're comparing maps to old, old... To old like twenty percent bigger yeah. than our last one. Yeah, Witcher. It's like Fallout's thirty times. I don't know. 30, Witcher's like, thirty times bigger than Skyrim. Things yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah, but there's this obsession with scope and scale, and I can commend them. And, and Witcher is a fantastic. I, I played a little bit, like barely any of it. And it's a fantastic game. It's super dense. The world is probably one of the most believable worlds I've ever seen in a video game. Mm-hmm. But Bloodborne is one of the most beautifully rendered, and not not just aesthetically, mm-hmm. which it should have won Art Direction. I was gonna say, who won that. Art Direction? Um, um, Ori. Ori, which I I can see. Ori, that. Ori is a pretty game. That's Ori is a one, very pretty that's game. That's the thing. So when I was thinking about doing the write up for that, and and I was trying to predict these things, like I, I didn't think Ori would stand out because it was just a two D game. Yeah, you know, no, and like, we, we saw with the Splatoon that they don't. They're going wild was, choices, honestly. I think that was the most yeah. interesting thing about the Game Awards. It's like they're very diverse, and I like that. Like the fact that her story won best narrative, best performance mm-hmm. in. In the wake of like The Witcher Three being up for best narrative, as well as like other big games, there are some really good performances this year. Yeah, um, yeah. But Chloe, anyway, Chloe, yeah. yeah, the Chloe from Life is Strange. Chloe, yeah, Chloe, yeah, yeah. Who else was so? It was Ashley Birch? Who was the other girl? Ashley Birch, Camilla Lennington for Laura Croft. Right. Um, uh, Viva C for her story. She won. That, Laura Croft. That one um, could have worked if she if it wasn't as recent. That game Mark, came out. Too yeah. Close mm-hmm. to the Mark Hamill for the Joker and Arkham Knight. And Spoilers! Then, I didn't even know that. That's actually a huge spoiler. What is that? He's an Arkham Joker, Knight. Joker is an Arkham Knight. Was he part oh. of um, trailers and teases and stuff? He he he, he, no, he was in the game, but he wasn't. It Teased? wasn't actually the Joker. Okay, so it's not. It was okay. all. It was all in Batman's head, and that's not a spoiler. There's that's not like okay. the first ten minutes. Yeah, I remember seeing this really awesome Metal Gear Solid reference that he did, didn't he? Or was that an, was that an older Batman? I don't even know. No, no, you know, know, did did he go bat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's when you die. When yeah, you die, yeah, when you die, he says bat. Yeah, like like, okay. like so. That is, I guess the minor spoiler. I remember clicking on. And uh, the last and... performer nominated was Doug Cockle for uh, Geralt in The Witcher. Man, that guy has such a smooth baritone. I love. Like, I love. Yeah. Did you, did you see the one where they were doing a demo for The Witcher Three during Gamescom like last year? Where their audio broke down. Yeah. And he just yeah. voiced over everything. That was, that was incredible. Amazing. I did not see he that. Just he was like improving. He was hilarious. It was, it was, that guy's great. And you should get that check. Like things like that. Yeah, exactly. Know, really he just funny. made it really funny, but it was um, sweet. But I don't even think I finished the Bloodborne thing. Yeah, I just think there's a lot of obsession with scope and open scale games, mm-hmm. open world gaming. And honestly, I'm seeing a trend of where linear people always cry out like, oh, why isn't there a good linear shooter? Blah, blah, blah. Halo 5, for example, I thought that was a fantastic shooter. Um, for the faults I had with all of it's like the gold player's fantastic. The campaign story, it takes some work, obviously. Yeah. I think there's this really weird retrograde movement where some critics are going for linear games, linear experiences, which Bloodborne I would consider more on the linear side. Yeah. And more it, traditional it is, but it's, action. Mm-hmm. It's it's got so much more finesse. It's a game that's all about polish and mm-hmm. Witcher's all about density. It's again, this is comparing like two of the star studded horses in a stable, yeah. you know, like these things are both incredible and they're both polished to a degree, but I'd say Bloodborne is probably more polished. Do you think, mature. I think it's hard to say. Do you think, I don't know, maybe it's, I, I, don't I know. feel like it's a very yeah, hard thing, but yeah, as far what as you're going for, if I mean, you're still, if you're still on art direction, you know what I'm going to have, yeah, I would have yeah. to go with Bloodborne. It's just, yeah, it, cause it's the most Castlevania game, um, I've ever seen. And I love Castlevania. So there is a call way. me bias if you will, but I just, I can't, 
I'm gonna try to get into Witcher Three. I'll try. Yeah, I'll I try. I thought The Witcher Three would have won Art Direction just because compared it to the other like action games. Or, so okay. Art Direction was Bloodborne, Witcher Three, Metal Gear, uh, mm-hmm. Ori, and um, something else. Uh, Fallout Four, I think. Really? But, That's surprising to me. I probably wasn't Fallout Four. I don't remember what the fifth one was. Mm-hmm. I am stoked the smaller game one though. But, Ori. Yeah. Yeah. No. I feel that like, is fucking great. That's why it's like, oh, it's like, sad. I'm sad that J- uh, Japan Studio didn't or yeah. From Software didn't win anything because they did not win one award. Which yeah, three, I think that is a huge snub. Zero for three. I agree. They should have won something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Leonardo. Himself. It should have been a third person. <laughs> it should have been the uh, action game. You know. You think? Just you think it should be a separate? Oh, you it should have been. Uh, you know, no, of, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear would have killed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Metal Gear Solid has fucking. The, the no, best like, good game year for video games, guys. It was no, the, the, the missions of Metal Gear Solid are fucking. Great. No, the gameplay just. Enjoyed That's what I mean. Too. Yeah, 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 the gameplay right. is. Just, the missions are kind of repetitive. Like, yeah. No, the missions are repetitive. Yeah. But Get the that guy. Is, Kill that guy. One review. A review might came come out of that game, but I honestly have been too sidetracked by Fallout. That's why I've been playing. Yeah. So much. So what are you? What are you guys been playing? By the way, I've been getting back into The Witcher Three. Yeah. So I bought the expansion. Right. um, Mm -hmm. It was like nine dollars. Isn't the expansion literally the size of like most open? It's a ten hour expansion. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you new quests that can add even more hours, more abilities, uh, just everything. That's I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. just, do you think it's just a syndrome of me being like a huge fan of those classic, almost NES style? Yeah. I mean, NES. Okay, when you say NES style, you have to say this. You have to delineate that an NES game is one that is come sometimes cheap. But when I say NES game, I mean Castlevania, where it's fair and it's difficulty. It's not making just a repeat to the quarters and you know something like that. Not for right. games. But um, this Bloodborne, especially, I feel like it's just one of the the most polished game experiences this year and. I don't. What What do you think? Why do you, Why don't you think it it won? Like compared I to think, like, is it exclusive? Is that why? Is you know. You know. I can't see exclusive. Exclusivity. Yeah. Exclusivity. Yeah. You know that, that could hurt. Honestly. That could hurt. Yeah. Could. yeah. But also, I can see that some people might not look at the art style as right. So, so groundbreaking or anything because like that. it all has a similar theme. But exactly. there it's, is a shitload of variation mm-hmm. in it. Yeah. That. I mean, I'm not saying that these people can't see it, but mm. go to the castle stage. Like literally, the it's, you have to go a little bit off off base for that one like mm-hmm. a side quest almost yeah. but uh, if you go to the castle stage in Bloodborne it's one of the most breathtaking things you'll see on PS4 yeah. and it's, it, in my opinion it's the best game on PS4 the fact that PS4, like I haven't, I haven't played it obviously yeah. but the fact that I've seen a lot of it right there, there's the something designs, there's dude. something yeah exactly something yeah. about front software they from Dark Souls 1 to Bloodborne like their monster designs are dope yeah. yeah, you know, like that's the best creature design. That, should, oh, that is that is my favorite part yeah. of the game. That I should love take, getting that should be considered as well, right? For art direction, like yes. it's every, all the aesthetics. I think people get too obsessed with the environmental is exactly the aesthetics or like the graphics or whatever. You know? Which mm-hmm. again, Bloodborne maybe it may at first seem gothicy and like oh it's just a Castlevania. Like this is mm-hmm. just something that's like oh it's generic, but no, some of the levels later in game are you're hiding behind stalks of like these pus-filled eyes and yeah. these pillars. Of, I, I understand why oh, it, it didn't win, though, because, like, what Furman was saying, it is kind of something that's been done before. Like, it's a dark... I don't think so, though. Game. I honestly don't. I think this has one of the most... I, I can see it mistaken yeah. I could for be, being I think that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think enough people played it. Which probably. is weird to say. Yeah. That might be... Honestly. And going off what you said, Hayden, like, yeah. I think it probably is, like, the more polished game if you compare yeah. it to the other game of the years because it is exclusive. That's, like, one thing that exclusivity... And just the does nature help. of the game is, like, it's just... They try from software's been building these games for so long. That's all they do. This has just become the Bloodborne defense cast, but yeah. no. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with Witcher, Witcher winning, and yeah. I'm gonna go try it anyway. Yeah, so. the Witcher three won Game of the Year from the Game Awards. They also took home um, Best Developer, CD Projekt Red. That they sweep, they, that is, they sweep the show. That is 100. percent They won with. three awards: uh, Best, Best RPG. Developer. Best uh, I developer. Think, I think you're wrong. I think uh, and, um, Konami Productions should have won. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you don't even believe yourself when you say that. <laughs> yeah. It's just something crazy because there's there's um one of the creative directors from Witcher Three came out and said like a couple of weeks ago like it's so weird that they released like the number like where they sold six million today mm. and they said it's something like fantastic. it's it's so strange that in today's age we released a big large serious game without multiplayer without yeah without um you know, nickel and diming customers for DLC, like, it's just a solid single-player game, mm-hmm. and it took off. You know, like, how weird is that in 2015? Um, I don't know, just go, it goes to show those guys, like, they did it 
they're a small team and they fucking did it. Like they fucking they're they holding they're them, holding you know? the standard for the entire industry. And they're really yeah. nice. They're really loyal to the consumers. To where like when they, yeah. I mean, for people like me, I like physical uh, physical oh, discs. Yeah, dude. And they gave us manuals. They gave us like the, the premium. Fucking, the standard edition was a premium edition. Yeah, for Christ's sake. For like, other things, yeah. Yeah, and like I remember the Witcher Two Assassins King or Creed Assassins, Assassins of King. Creed, Assassins, Creed, Assassins of King. Assassins of King. Yeah. Uh, that had like a really good customized box for the yeah. same price, like for sixty bucks. Yeah, you get yeah, you get stickers, you get maps, you get a soundtrack. It's like that's I'm like excited a for uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Oh my god, oh, I, can, games. I, I can only imagine what's gonna happen. PS five. PS5. We don't even, I don't even know when we'll see that yeah, game. To be Xbox honest. 2. That's okay. Yeah, Xbox, um, I still need Xbox a, 2. I still need Please a no. <laughs> the NX. The SNK Neo Geo CD2. Okay. The, the Dolphin. The Dolphin. Are we ready? Or what the else? Shark. Is there any other VGA news that we need to talk about? I thought, about? I just, this is another thing too. The Iwata like, stuff. Very, you want, yeah, they did a tribute with Iwata, which is that really cool. When Reggie came out and started talking about how Iwata was like wanting to be unique mm-hmm. and wanting to be special, I was like, my God, he's going to be like, Iwata's last thing was the NX, and they're going to talk about the NX. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be crazy. Be, uh, that would be insane. Wow. <laughs> I was like, he's going to do it. No, but nothing like it's that happened. It's a toy. Happened. It no, has it, three screens. Yeah, Iwata's, yeah, they had the, the moment for Iwata. Um, obviously, that was really, really cool. Like, this podcast is intro by Iwata. You know, mm-hmm. um, which is cool. Like, I think everybody should tribute to it because everyone was affected. Like, I think everybody's we played affected, Nintendo. Yeah. Like, yeah, the first system I've had was a Nintendo. I mean, the you most know? stereotypical thing that they keep, everyone keeps saying is that you will not realize the impact that this man has had on the industry for like thirty years. Yeah, it's, it's always. I like really that. recommend you guys go watch uh, from Gaming Historian. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. I used to know him. I'm just we're tired. It's like twelve now. Um, go watch his documentary. It's like a thirty-minute-long documentary on the like. It's probably the most detailed thing on YouTube of Satori Wada. It's really good. Really? I recommend you guys to watch it too. Yeah, check really it out. Really good. Um, yeah, it's so good. But yeah, before before we move on, like, man, they, they I Justine was there interviewing people and oh man, oh my god, the first interview with Dead Mouse. Yeah, fuck, dude, he did not give a shit. They're back there <laughs> doing like battle Battlefront demos, and she's like, "What do you think of Battlefront? Like, isn't it cool?" Like. It looks so. It looks so cool. You, you can finally go in an X wing, and it's just like the movies, right? And Dead Mouse is just like, right. I, I guess. I mean, I guess. Mm-hmm. And it's like I. I don't know. It's pretty sweet. Like I've never played a Star Wars game before, and and she was like, and she, they kept on talking, and he just he didn't seem like he cared. Right. He seems like an asshole. You know, like he <laughs> no, seems like I always an asshole. He, in real life, I apparently always hear that he's a dick. Like he, like something about having sex. Like there was some controversy between was, him and this bodybuilder guy. He's like, I have sex with your girlfriend. I don't know. I'm not so, gonna try to go to that. But he's not. It was nice so guy, it was so cringe worthy, dude. Like just go watch that interview. It's the very like hey, beginning. He, he does good music. I'm not gonna uh, like criticize his music for the person. So I like yeah, his music. but it was just funny. He did, cool, was, he did a cool performance at the end. You haven't seen it. The funny I part, you haven't seen any of these VGAs. I did not watch any of the VGAs. I was extremely yeah. busy this week, you and I was out that night. <laughs> You've been awake for quite a bit. His eyes are like bloodshot. Look at his eyes. We're almost done. Yeah. We're almost yeah, done. Dude. But um, yeah. did you? No, I mean at PSX, we're not almost done. But, <laughs> no, but two more multiplayer. Did we talk about that? Was that weird to you? No, I thought I deserved it. You didn't think you deserved it. You oh, you like? Well, it. I used to paintball a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just, it was very strange. No, I won got... multiplayer and best shooter. That's that. won both. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that's weird. Uh, I don't. I mean, is what other multiplayer type games came out this year? Did Evolve Rocket this League? Year? I think Rocket League was gonna fucking win. I think multiplayer. Esports, though, but it won best esports. Didn't it? it won best indie game. The best, best See, indie that, game. Okay, that's another thing I don't agree with. I think um, so weird. Undertale should have won. I can't even remember the name for a second. Undertale. I've only played whatever my roommate has shown me really, and uh, that game, the way it subverts RPG trends, like it makes it to where the combat you're in, you're like fighting shmups. He's like half asleep right now. <laughs> We're almost done, bud. We're We're almost done. Done. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You, you use like shmup mechanics to fight yeah. in RPG battles while negotiating with demons. I don't know. I think that should have won. Yeah. And a lot of people agree. But anyways, but anyways, that was the, that was the game awards by Jeff Keighley. That, it was mm-hmm. fun. I love those. Let's get I love you guys actually want. I yeah. love award shows. Like I don't know, they're just cool. Like, good job, Keighley. It was good job, really Keighley. good. Best show so far. So. More Doritos next time. Oh, but, I fucking hate Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> the the PlayStation experience happened today, as we talked about earlier. Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, the the demo is out. The demo is out there. Just go watch go it. Watch it. Um, Beautiful. Probably the, one of the biggest surprises of the show. Suki's gonna kill me. That I didn't. Uncharted Four opened the big thing. Dialogue trees are in there now. Mm-hmm. Sully's awesome. Um, uh, what else was at the keynote? Just the keynote specifically. The I wrote keynote. down a lunch, a bunch of stuff. I before I have a list, but we have. I, yeah, I'm trying to think of. Anybody got anything? Oh, I know. Hayden and I can totally agree on one we, thing. We, we should we talk about that later. Hundred okay, foot. Okay. Hundred foot robot golf. Yes! yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh my god, so describe what this game is. Furman. Well, Furman. okay, so you've got these robots. They're about 90 feet tall. Uh, 900 foot tall. 
No, you're completely wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> no, they are foot. 100 foot tall robots yeah. playing in cities, and it's there's. They're not just playing; they're like running across and collapsing buildings. Silly. And shit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, that's what I've been seeing a big trend of. And uh, does this this doesn't have VR support, does it? No. no, it was just like one of those weird indie. Reels. I want to get to that too, but I've been seeing a lot of like indie games are supposed to be crazy and fantastical because they. I feel like that gives them an excuse. Sometimes I'm always worried. Does that give indie games an excuse to be less polished by being stupid? Like it, by stupid, I mean like ludicrous, like in the best way. Because they, do you agree? Like is yeah, that they can, take, the they can take more risks oh, than like that because they're not. Yeah. They're not entire company it's not like is it risk or is it much just like oh I'm just gonna throw these things together and see if it works I, I, I guess that's fine I think but. it's I think it's like mm-hmm. let's just make a fucking game like, right. that's the mentality yeah. let's that's, make that's a fucking fine. game that's fine more power to you I'm just saying it's not it's like gross. Bungie's like oh fuck yeah. we have to make the next expansion like really badass really and, like, there, by the way. check all these boxes for Activision you know yeah. so we can get more money from Activision like any game is just like let's just make a fucking game about robots and golf and shit. And also the zombie one that looks like Omnibus yeah. uh, the modern, zombie. modern Zombie modern Zombie taxi. taxi yeah 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 Service. Crazy something. Taxi with Omnibus. Yeah. yeah. Those are zombies. sweet. Go check those out as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but was that the 100-foot the, the golf thing? Was that the one you guys... That's were, not what we were going to say. What were we going to say? No, we're yeah. going to do that, but we'll get to that later. I, I want to hear what your guys' number... Like, we, we can go through everything, but honestly, I don't think we're all interested in everything. Neo yeah. was cool. The Onimusha thing. Yeah. Uh, they mm-hmm. did... Oh, I think I know what you guys are talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't... Fun, uh, we'll talk about Final Fantasy I'll tell you about in a second. But the it. Neo was like... You guys saw it. We we couldn't see it very well. It was mm-hmm. like the Dark Souls-esque Namco Bandai game. That Onimusha, we, Dark we thought Souls. We won... Was it Paris Games Week? What was the, where was the debut? Do you remember? It was a while It was like... It was we talked about it on the episode one time. Yeah, we talked about it on the episode. That again showed up. It looked... I need to watch it again. We, we need to watch it on like a main screen right here because it looked really cool still. Like I, I'm, yeah. That's probably my most anticipated game that's like a dark horse. The cool thing about um, PlayStation, I think, is they have so many sweet indie games that... That's not indie, but yeah. No, but yeah. I know that's mm, not indie, right. but like games like Hob from uh, Runic Games, like I played yeah. the shit out of Torchlight too. Like I just, like in a, in a weekend, I put like 20 hours into it. Right. You know? It was insane. I don't even like those. I don't play Di- Diablo or anything like that, but... I don't know for some for, for some reason like Torchlight Two was so cool. Mm-hmm. I it was Diablo, right? I didn't play it. It was basically much. Diablo, yeah, yeah. but I never I never liked Diablo, but I liked Torchlight Two. I like Diablo too. And Hob looks really cool. It's a third person isometric like top down sort of right. adventure game. Totally up my style. Um, Big Radio something something was awesome. We, don't, another we one. can't even talk about what that is because I can't. I don't even, even know what it was. was. I'm not, I'm I have no sure. idea. I don't. I would be feel, I feel yeah. stupid talking about because I don't know what it was. It looked like this weird like. Yeah. See, it had CRT vintage effects. Yeah. And it seemed like you were doing something with radios. Yeah, and that that TV maybe. that and Res Infinite is a oh man PlayStation One that, throwback. That, we should go back to the VR stuff too. Yeah, yeah I want to go into that right now. But like yeah. that was super cool because I remember playing that. I have not thought about that game until today. You know, I actually thought about that recently because didn't you know. they make a three? I may be completely wrong. Did they make a more updated port recently for 360 or something? I think so. I, I think, think I read that it was on 360, even. but I, I didn't know that was out. But I it's remember playing game. that game on like PS1. Like Oh, it's a PS1 game? I think it was PS1. I'm I almost, think it's a PS2 game. Are you sure? I'm almost certain it's a PS2 game. Yeah, I don't around. know. Yeah, I, I when I saw that too, I was like, what? And the music's fantastic. I don't know how I am, um, actually. But yeah, Res, whatever, it's cool. Yeah, it's a PlayStation Res. game, and it's really VR good. in general, that was there. We actually did not get our chance to try it because all the appointments were filled. The yeah. app, by the way, there's a PlayStation app. It was really well done. There's rewards, like you get little platinum trophies and stuff. Yeah, that was it fun. Did, it's not working, and we're to keep scanning. We keep scanning was, our did you, Amigos, did you, and you're not working very well. But, uh, did you um, log into your PSN with the app? I, I did, I think. I'm pretty sure, like it says, my, no, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I did that too. And, yeah. and it still didn't show up? It still doesn't yeah. show up. Because I know those QR codes are specific to your PlayStation yeah. account. It, I, I know why Honestly, I don't get anything because I don't have PSN, so that makes sense. But right, because you you came to a PlayStation conference and didn't you came not play any games that they I showed. I have a PS2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last console you had was a PS2. The best PS2. one, um, arguably. No, but I was super stoked while we're on the topic of VR. Mm-hmm. Let's My talk God, about VR. Fucking yeah. Ace Combat Seven. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Totally good. That's his. So uh, for some our, reason, like, it's really shows it's too. really weird. It's like I didn't expect this at all. I haven't mm-hmm. thought about Ace Combat since PS2. <laughs> I played Ace Combat. There's been more since then. Shattered. Really? I know, but they all suck. Um, I heard one was good. Shattered actually. Skies. I think it was the last sure, one, one I played. Might, may have been not one, like six. Oh, that's different. There's got to be a I six. Don't know. It was like one where you're like going, you're touching down. Like, thank you, President. I don't know. I think it's really <laughs> funny. Go look it up. No, I I always I love Ace Combat games because they're like legit simulators. 
I don't know. Just some bad wacky stories too. They're stupid. <laughs> the stories are stupid. Yeah. They're like weird anime stories, right. and they're not even good anime it's stories. A bad anime story. Look, my God, Chatter Skies. Ace Combat Four was ninth the one. bomb, wow. dude. I love that game. Ace Combat got some good scores. I played the game. shit out of yeah. that game. Mm-hmm. I beat it like five times, and just like going with like the F one something around. I don't know. What I could have sworn they were going to show Tekken because so, Katsuhiro Hero Harada was there. I don't know what he's showing. That's not good, man. What is he showing right now? Who? Harada? Yeah, Harada. He's not Talking, doing anything. He's throwing shade at Ono. Oh, man, we'll get to that panel, too. But, this is um, never going to end. This is the longest more, cast ever. Yeah, this is the longest cast. But, like, I think... I yeah. think we should just narrow it down. Game of the show. Game it's combat show. seven for me. What was your game of the show? Maybe, wait. Let's talk about, let's talk about the big one, Furman. Yeah. About that Mine was Ace Combat 7. These guys are going to We on. There was one thing we say, didn't say at the same time. Okay, wait, wait. We did not expect to say something different. That'd be well, fucking I, I, I expected something from Final Fantasy 7, even right. if it was just a repeat trailer. I didn't expect the gameplay. That's the, I didn't that's expect that. They won already by that. But there was one game I did not expect to come out for years. That's right. And that was Last Blade 2. Nino, what? Nino, Nino Kuni, right? That's not what you were going to say. That is not what you were going to say. <laughs> you were going to say Nino Kuni 2. Nino Kuni 2. <laughs> Nino Kuni 2 was like uh, a fucking traitor. <laughs> no, but that was a big surprise too, by the way. Last play too. Everything is peak. Fuck yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I freaked out. I was my hair. I was pulling my hair. Um, no, but Nino Kuni 2, what the fuck? Yeah. How are they doing that? Yeah, that is what... Sony, I, what? I am so happy. And is it through third party relations? It's it's done by level five. It is done by level five. Yeah. Yeah. Is Gio Corsi like helping fund that game personally from his uh, beard? He has a magnificent beard, by the way. He's a nice guy. Miyazaki. Uh, No. (laughs) That's the thing. So let's talk about why I thought it was never going to happen at all because Ghibli. Ghibli, uh, Yeah. Who helped? I gotta say, your hype is like increasing my heart rate right now. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> mine too, but, gonna, like, mine too yeah. but that's just anxiety <laughs> no. and the alcohol. No. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, they're gonna die. They're gonna kill it over live on this cast. Um, what no. you knew about last night? <laughs> Jillian! Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. This is going off the rails, but no, the Miyazaki. Cast. I love this I shit. honestly love this show. I hope you guys do Please too. Please subscribe, youtube.com slash be a bite. Hit that Plug. button down there. Remember, you can do it. If you need a card, you can get this. <laughs> Take some. <laughs> Oh my you god. You did those all your cards, dude. That's oh my god. You win this. This is so crazy. We need, uh, we need to do this every day. I'll pick those up in a bit. Don't worry. You know, He's so you know, sad. He just re- re- he realized he just threw his really nice move like business cards. Cow, you know, yeah, cow, you know, cards. cow cards. Continue. I'm going to you know, go. Cookie. I'm going to so, I need to look at something anyways. Furman. Miyazaki is no, he's not dead. No, I don't. I would try if he died. No, but, but Ghibli. No. Ghibli itself proper is basically retired at this point. Mm-hmm. So, um they uh the fact that they're retired, I never thought that they would produce a game so quickly. Or like, with, yeah. how many years? It's only been like three years, three or four years, maybe. It has not been that long. Not even that long. Yeah, I think not. it's been maybe two, maybe one and a half. I think it came out in 2012, maybe 2013. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was my favorite game, favorite RPG, JRPG, I guess you could say. Of last of, gen? Of PS3. Yeah. No, yeah, like, yeah. it's the best PS3 RPG by far. Uh, really traditional. It, it mm-hmm. mails that with modern mechanics, and it was super fun. I had to grind a little bit, but I beat that game within 60 hours and loved every single second. It was one of my most, yeah, memorable PS3 yeah, it's games. Yeah, be- and it's a beautiful game. Yeah. And you can tell the art style has changed a little bit, though. Yeah, it did you change. You can tell it's still it's changed, but it's definitely completely it, inspired by Ghibli. It's still Ghibli, though, because yeah. there's even parts where, like, the character himself kind of really reminded me of um, Hal, his face structure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Blonde, it looks like yeah, Hal. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, not the girl. I was talking about the guy, actually, that's in, like, the suit, the oh. blue suit. But, yeah. no. They, they show off this storyline that seems like it's going to be about this uprising from this rat king and it seems like it has nothing really connected to there's no drippy uh, like Greg Miller said no, yeah, drippy, no drippy no, no cell no drippy no cell or no buy he hasn't even beaten the game no. Greg Miller you're awesome no um, you but <laughs> but no they they surprised me they that was by far the biggest like what the hell so I was already like this they, they said are you alright buddy during like halfway through the show because I was like after the SNK announcement the last play too mm-hmm. um, I was like just dead I was like I was like this it's funny they said the same thing all, they said the yeah. same thing to me are you okay buddy but that's because yeah. I was falling asleep in my chair <laughs> 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 like, oh, my head was bobbing yeah can you pick up my jaw if you like watch insane. this video closely you right. may notice it a couple times when they <laughs> made <laughs> I see you, you list how many times you over and you're like guys are close yeah and you and that did happen Okay. I'm, I'm aware that happened. Real quick, guys. Yeah. Camera's gonna die in 20 minutes, so we have 20 minutes. Well, we have 20 minutes, guys. Okay. So, cool. So, no, but Nino Kuni was the minutes, biggest but... surprise of the show for the keynote. Mm-hmm. Um, Sony did a fan. This is blew my expectations out of the water. This entire convention did, mm-hmm. but uh, we'll talk post thoughts later. But uh, what else? Like, what else was their big surprise? I guess. The, the Nino Kuni was crazy. Like, Nino I haven't yeah. played it. But I know. I know the pedigree. Of that game, level, level five in general, they're known for Dragon Quest Eight. Which and I guess since I haven't played too. it, like yeah. the same character, 
No. Same. No, no, no. no that's what we're saying. It's a completely new storyline. Oh, why is it called Nino? Mothers, Nino? there's fucking matricide in every game. She's yeah. not killing them, obviously, but there's death and mothers in every single game. It mm-hmm. seems like the, this Nino Kuni series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mom death simulator. But yeah, I mean, like, going through it, Uncharted was cool. Everybody yeah. expected that. No one expected Final Fantasy Seven. Well, I mean, we did, but we didn't expect that much. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like, Nino Kuni came out. Right um, from the opening, too. Uncharted 4, Final Oh, man. It was really crazy. I remember yeah. when... I think when we were all watching the Nino Kuni trailer, right. we didn't quite know what it was. I mean, we, I was like, that looks like a Ghibli thing. I even remember telling Furman, I was like, no way, this isn't, this isn't Nino Kuni 2. Yeah. There's no way. I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I didn't like, believe it for a second. I was just like, why would they, why would yeah. this be They out? said this is highly requested from level 5. I was like, Level no, five? Okay. not even possible. There's no way it's. Like, I just thought no it was way. like another level five RPG. I thought in White Knight Chronicles like three. You know, and then <laughs> and then <laughs> it like zooms like out. It's like Nino Kuni two, and every, fucking everybody just went nuts, man. Yeah. And that was a cool thing about. I think that was a cool thing about it too. Just like the Being atmosphere. In the experience. Everybody the was. Experience. Everybody was. Yeah. Just so into it, like I, you know, especially you know, you know, I was when surprised. Cloud Except was for you, you running. Were like the only one when Cloud was running, man. Well, that's because he's a cynical God. bastard. We <laughs> yeah, know that. We know that. But yeah. there was there was one moment I, didn't, I, I, which wasn't a huge announcement to me. What with Destiny, the Sparrow Racing League. Oh my but God! Everybody was fun. so people excited. People lost their minds over that. Yeah, Destiny players and are I, like. I mean, hardcore. I play I play a lot of Destiny, and yeah. I, I, I love it, and I, you know, I never knew I wanted right. racing. Fuck, that sounds did, so cool. You didn't get cool. to try it yet, but uh, our friend Luke did. He said it was really good. He got really second good. place. Good yeah, job. second place. Good job. If you get first place, you get a t-shirt. Yeah, and the t-shirt's actually really cool. I didn't see it. Oh, is it that one, you think? I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. I want to go. I'm going to go. That one. They, they don't know what we're talking Look, about. Look, I have some really harsh <laughs> experience. I, Bungie is little, it's still my top three developers of all time for what they've done with Halo. But Destiny really slided into the story. And we've talked about this, I think, before. We can have an entire yeah. Destiny cast from Destiny 2 or whatever expansion they plan on doing Take one day. Game. Yeah, t- no, not even Taken King, whatever, Queen. whatever sequel type thing they Take do. Queen. Um, but this game actually seems like I with Taken King, I've heard they've really tried to change more and like they, they, you can I say mean, they, personal, but, they, there's yeah. um, so many little aspects of the game right. that they're really expanding upon. Should I try? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I you know I really think you should. It's a brand mm-hmm. new game and okay. it's 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 just fun. I don't want to get burned again, really. I Furman. It happens. Yeah, burn. Oh, you played it before. Because eh? like for me, it's just I was so disappointed by it. Like it was like so hyped mm-hmm. and like Bungie's like. So good. I still think they're good, but yeah. Destiny just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm not a multiplayer kind of like exclusive shooter, you know. Mm-hmm. You guys think? I felt like the ending of the show of that conference or that presentation was kind of weak. Like, yeah. do you remember? I don't even remember the last game they showed. There, and there were a bunch of smaller games. I think games. it was just Ace Combat. Like the the last big one was Ace Combat from that was the VR. Last big one, but they showed off some other thing too. Last. I don't remember. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember what the last game was. Yeah. Usually, it's a. It's a, it's a it's I feel something. like they had one last big surprise, and they probably they, like cut it. But they right cut now. it. Yeah, and they cut a lot of things out. It seemed like. Actually, yeah, they even did the whole. Oh, there's one last video, and it was just. Like, it was just yeah. a sizzle. It was just a compilation. Yeah. Do you think that was intentional? No. Like you think they were just like that's, that part was intentional. Maybe they're they all at home right now. They're like, oh fuck. We didn't play that other game. Yeah. VGA also had a really weak ending as well. Yeah, I think good. like there was no Zelda footage. Like a lot of people were complaining about that online. I remember, um, which I agree, there was no Nintendo representation. There was nothing Nintendo based except so Reggie's. Uh, so tune in is Reggie's Satoru Iwata tribute. Yeah, and guess who? Cool, can you guys start bringing things that are, things that aren't Nintendo direct? I don't know. Right. Um, Iwata is um, awesome. Don't get us wrong. Yeah, but like we do want to get of course new Nintendo news as well. NX stuff. I mean, like, that copyright, that's a different cast, but yeah. there's, so there's some cool things in Nintendo's Horizon, it seems like. Um, yeah. yeah, but... PlayStation that, Experience. This is the second one ever. Keynote. You know, mm-hmm. Keynote was sweet. Let's talk a little bit, just real fast, we have like maybe five, ten minutes left, but... Um, games we played? Games played, maybe just show floor, um, just... Just the show floor in general, I mean, including games and all of the all of the all weird of the, yeah. badge things. So, do you want to explain how that works? The so, badge? yeah, I have it right here. By the way, they gave you this really cool lanyard. Really nice. Like, it's a 20th anniversary one PlayStation. It's one heavy. Card. It's heavy. You were saying, that's your yeah. quote for why it's quality. You use this weird NFSC, or NFSC, NFC, yeah. which is like the Amiibo technology scanner, mm-hmm. that you go inside these Samsung-strapped phones. That mm-hmm. Sony phones. So, they're Sony, are they Sony phones? They are Sony phones. Okay, they're, it goes to Android, though. Yeah. Um, it's Android Sony phones. And you scan on there, and it registers for your PlayStation rewards on your app, synced up to your account. Cool, but half the time, yeah. people were lined up for that more than they were lined and up. And it wouldn't work half the time. You'd be like... Part. Can I angle it? Oh, it's on Nathan Drake. It's inside, yeah, it's it's inside Drake. Nathan it's Drake. That's yeah. inside him. Took a little bit of trial and error, but it was yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a fun game. Fun I, game. I don't know for those watching this. I mean, if it works for you, then it works for you. But at least for my experience, and I Dude, think everybody it was like here, constantly fa- I broke it every time. Every it just time. didn't work. Yeah, right? Hayden, Hayden's Hayden, a terrible yeah. person. Yeah. Like, I, I just would, referred myself third person. That's it pretty would, weird. It would, it would beep, but no, nothing came out of it. 
Like, what did it's you buy, Brie? Story of my life. <laughs> oh my god. What does beat mean? What does beat mean? Oh man. You might break with that check. Real quick, real quick. Games you played on the floor. Death's uh, Gambit. I was pointing at Furby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we played Death's you played Gambit. that too. I played Death's Gambit too. Yeah. Um, Gang Beast. What? Gang Beast. Gang Beast. Gang, oh, so <laughs> gang Wars. That is so fun. I don't know who I, makes I, it, but Gang Beast. Just Google Gang Beast. Just, just, just think of rubber wrestlers. They're rubber and they're just fighting. Someone said Quap the fighting game. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, that's the best. Luke yeah. said that. That's the best way of describing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? Um, what was that? Shadow of the Beast? Shadow of the Beast. Shadow of the Beast. God of War really, side scroller. Yeah. A really fun combat. Super bloody. Yeah. Felt felt fantastic. You felt like a beast. You were really hulking. Combos creature. are nice. Combos are really, really yeah. nice. It felt like you uh, apply God of War with Street Fighter, like a fighting game in that 2D plane, mm-hmm. but side scrolling ability. Which we're selling you on this game right now. I looked at it. I didn't PS4 stop. is what we're telling you. It's an exclusive. I mean Based on a Commodore 64 Amiga game. This Are you game kidding is me? Cool. Yeah. When I walked into yeah. the second floor on the left side, there's a massive box with a giant bird cat dog. That's why I'm getting that it. That was your game. <laughs> oh my god. That's why I'm going to They be- brought the, la- the, the last of us, the last guardian wall where you interact. That's cool. Giant, I just like, think it's a zombie yeah. thing. That's, he was most interested in that. And what That's else? That's so cool, dude. Um, were you, were you uh, the game you were playing at the end, Bound. Really, really Bound beautiful. That really stuck yeah. out to Really beautiful. Really yeah. Yeah. That was the Sony Santa Monica helped. Uh, they actually, the real developers, I can't remember the name, but they made Datura. Yeah. If you remember mm-hmm. Datura, which yeah. is really weird. Datura, yeah. the, the game based on the board game yeah. by yes. the Jumanji yes. creator. Yeah, I watched that recently, weirdly enough. No, but, but the, the most yeah. beautiful thing about Bound, I just love yeah. that that ballet. Um, the, mo- the animation. The animation. They yeah. mo-capped yeah. the ballerina. It was pretty. Yeah, they did. Yeah, for me, very pretty. Was it Michelle Wong? Michelle, <laughs> no. uh, Michelle, what's Swan? her name? Kwan? 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 The no. ice skater? <laughs> oh, not the, Billy. Billy. Uh, no. uh, ballerina. <laughs> we have, we're running out of time, but uh, no, the, the, uh, for me it was the concrete, the, they use this term concretism, which is an art movement, obviously, really? where all these rough, hard edges um, were being used for the environment, and you, ballerina, would like manipulate it. You, like, you'd warp and phase through these yeah. weird things, you'd yeah. make them transform. Form and you can so see you, you get the things. contrast between those hard yeah. edges and her soft movements yeah. and polygonal like dress or polygonal dress movement. Yeah, which was I don't know. That was cool. Yeah. What else? Um, KOF fourteen guys. King uh, of fighters. King of fighters. Yeah. He lost. I I because they fucking came up to me mid match. <laughs> I was about to beat this guy, this really good pro, and he beat me. Yeah. Um, because they started saying you suck like in the yeah. right next to me, but no. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that. Uh, I was really not even gonna die. I was really happy with the SNK representation. Like I said, last play two. I didn't say this, but last play two is my favorite fighting game of all time, and I voted for it in that goddamn forum that they had. SNK had a forum saying like, oh, so what do you guys want to see in a remake goddamn of? Goddamn forum. That goddamn forum from Metal Gear Solid three. They're like, okay, what do you want to see our next HD thing? They did last play two. Right. Super hyped. The creators there. I'm gonna go there tomorrow and hopefully get an autograph because I didn't get to talk to him. And I, I literally like was pulling out my hair, like I said when they announced that. Insane. Yeah, um, we were all pulling out his hair. Yeah, they were. Real fast. Um, rockets, rockets, rockets. It was really fun. That's yeah. a really fun game. Um, yeah. The uh, what was like talking? Okay, that's good though. Don't. Yeah. Edith Edith Finch was a really f- weird game. It just like you kind of walk around, you turn into birds and cats and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Ratchet and Clank the reboot was really fun. Right. It's exactly what you expect. It's just fun. Yeah. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. It, it, it reminds you of what you thought of Ratchet and Clank. Mm-hmm. It like fits your memory. The That's, movie, the, the movie looks cool too. Like this is one of the first times where like a CG movie yeah. actually, from based on the video game, looks perfect. The perfect, perfect. Like what Ted Price said, the game is based on the movie, which is based, based on, the on the game. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. But no, so, um, what else? What else do we see? That's it, guys. Think, yeah. Is that all we have? There's for only video? one other thing that needs to be mentioned, what? and that was, I think, when um, when Greg Miller was asking people why they didn't have uh, Vita, oh, Vita during the PlayStation. One movie. person said they couldn't afford it. Right. And the yeah. second person said. Because they have a 3DS. Oh, man. <laughs> that was incredible. And that was the best he, answer. And the best part was he gave those people 3D, uh, Vitas. Not yeah, the gave 3DS Vitas. guy. Not the 3DS. Not, Told not the 3DS guy, yeah. Tell them to go away. The other people got 3DS. Did they really? Vitas. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, funny. Gio Corsi said this really heartwarming tale where like some person couldn't afford it, so they gave it to them. He gave, he, his he gave own. Oh yeah, remember yeah, his own yeah, yeah. Yeah, He deleted his stuff. Really, off. really cool. Yeah, Gio uh, Corsi of Sony and PlayStation. Real quick, we saw the fighting game. The last panel we saw oh, was a seven. The fighting game one was. I wish we had more time. That was the most fun. That that was the yeah. funniest thing we've ever. seen. If you like, can go, so if you can watch the fighting game future, future, future fighting, fighting, fighting games yeah. panel, PlayStation Experience mm-hmm. 2015. Go watch it because the real fighting game future is Katsuhiro, Onosan, and Baradasan versus. It was it yeah. And it's so funny seeing them talk and then just having to wait for the translations. Yeah. The translators are laughing because they, yeah, they, they both worked for Capcom, oh the Seth God, Killian dude, and the translator. The that was, it was so good. I'm going to watch it again. Go watch this conference. I'm going to watch it again. So the, the, you don't, you the, don't have to like fighting games. Watch it. The it's best hilarious. line of that was, if, if it's so good for working at Cap, Capcom, oh, why did they, why they, they leave? Yeah, yeah. Leave. He's like, the grind is hard, dude. That's what they answered. Why did they leave? Seth Killian's like, 
Yeah. Crying tired. And then Harada was just saying, like, I've never seen Ono have such a serious conversation. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. So all my right bosses in the audience, he yeah. said. Yeah. Oh, th- so many good <laughs> it lines. It was good. It was Man, very good. Go watch it. The best panel. Future Fighting Games, PlayStation Future Experience. Future of my life. I hope yeah. sta- show. Shade Station Experience 2015. Oh, my God. You, but that's, you want that to happen. It's going to happen. Easy Mode Ultra 21 wrapping up. That was real fast, I felt like. But it took Ooh. a real long time. My yeah. name is Billy, as always. This is Furman Gonzalez. This is Hayden Mobile. You can follow me at Billy Byte on hey. Twitter. You can follow this guy at Koki underscore Sorta. That's Furman Gonzalez. Yeah. You can, you can follow, follow me at the grave. You can follow Hayden <laughs> at Hayden Robel. Hayden with a D. Not Hayden. Robel, I'm sorry. That's so funny. Um, if you guys, <laughs> What's going to happen again on this video? Watch. Maybe. If, if you guys like this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, iTunes, all that good stuff, facebook.com slash be a bite. You might win again, a bag. You might win a bag. I'm, I really want to give this away. Like, yeah. I won't ever use this. Please. Just like, honestly, take it. Just fucking take it. Take it. Someone talk to us. Someone talk to us. <laughs> We're so We've done lo- 21 episodes. We're 21 sad. episodes. We're Leave very a comment lonely. in the subs. Yeah. Uh, I want to do a random raffle I'm thing so sad. Uh, through all of our social <laughs> channels. Is- do you see him crying? Just, uh, crying. I'll leave how you do it in the bottom of the, the description here. Um, but that's it. Easy Mode Ultra 21. We're out. Woo! See ya.